Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to fix your mechanical keyboard to make it work again. So if the keys do this behavior, I'm gonna click number five, five times, number six, six times, I, I mean five times. Yeah, so uh, you can see number five only reg registered three times when I clicked five times and now it only registered once. So let's try it with eight and nine and they don't work at all well uh nine does a bit but uh eight is completely not working so what you want to do to fix this is uh unplug your keyboard this is going to work for all mechanical keyboards not membrane keyboards because uh they probably won't do this so i don't have a keycap remover so you can use your fingers or a ruler so you just want to pop off the keycaps of the affected keys. Just like that, they're all off. These two already did them later, I mean before in the day, just to test if it works and it does. So what you need is a Q-tip or like anything that can absorb alcohol. I'm using 70%, of course 90% is better, but this is what I have. So uh, you wanna dispense some of it and uh, absorb it with your Q-tip or whatever you have. And then you just wanna make sure it goes all into the switch, make sure it soaks in, goes in deep. So you wanna do it a couple times on the same switch about like five times. Make sure you can like see the alcohol in there. So you wanna do that to all your switches. Make sure it's really soaked in there or, or it's not gonna work, it's just gonna clean the outside. Very nice finger. Okay, now once they're all coated, you want to like click them and flick them to make sure the alcohol goes in there. Just want to flick them and click. So like the dirt gets dislodged from where it's interfering with the sensor or whatever. Now once you're done with that, you want to put it vertically and just do the same thing, kind of hard with one hand, but uh, you understand what you gotta do, so just do the same thing, all vertical, so like the dirt moves away, doesn't stay in place. And then once that's done, you can see it's all wet with alcohol. So you wanna leave it to dry at least 20 minutes. I recommend more. Uh, you can put it in front of a window and it'll only take like 15 minutes. You can use a hair dryer to make it dry faster. But before plugging it, before plugging it in, make sure it's completely dry because you can uh, short it and it won't work anymore. So once it's completely dry, you can just plug it back in and it should work like brand new. So let's try them without keycaps on so I don't have to repeat the process by removing the keycaps and putting them back on like five times. So just test them each to make sure they work. You can see they're all working. Let's try eight and nine. They didn't work at all before. You can see that they worked the five times. Let's try with these ones. I didn't show you that they didn't work, but they didn't. So yeah, it works. Now let's just put the keycaps back on and that's gonna be it for this video. I'm just gonna put the keycaps back on. You can look at my fingers if you want.
There we go, they're all back on. Now I can try them again and see that they all work. And uh, if this works, make sure to comment down below that it did. So uh, more people try it and uh, stuff, you know. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, keep clicking the circles.